The Natu family are all TikTokers. The siblings help each other with content production and all four have successful channels. But George Natu is the biggest hit with almost 10 million followers for his videos, mostly combining music and comedy. For him, success in Brazil is not enough. He wants to go global and recently launched a channel in English. It's really great. I'm about to hit 1 million subscribers in like uh, one month and a half. So the people already starting to recognize me out of Brazil. So that's super great. And that's my goal. I want to make the world know me and know my brothers. Brazil is a key market for many international social media companies. Among short video platforms, TikTok is the biggest player in the country. But another Chinese app, Kwai, is investing heavily to win a larger chunk of Brazil's market. Brazil is a flagship for a company outside China. Why has over 300 million daily users only in China? We began our international expansion with a strong focus on Latin America and especially in Brazil. And we already have more than 45 million users accessing Kwai every month. Kaiki started out on TikTok, but it was on Kwai that he managed to begin making money with his football-based content. Kwai has been attracting influencers to produce content through agencies that hire us to produce content for them, and then we make money with our productions. Kwai was my entry door to begin monetizing my production. So I think TikTok and Kawai still have a lot to grow yet, and I think I, I see at least two years of very... Uh, uh, big growth. So I think Kawaii and TikTok are trying to approach different uh, 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 strategies, but I think both are finding great success within their strategy they're trying to reach. There's no doubt that social media has been changing the way people produce and consume information and entertainment, and all signs indicate that evolution will continue for some time. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.